Disney's What If, Chapter 6, Episode 6, Show Number 6. This one was good. I think it was good. It had uh, the last meeting of Killmonger and the Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman and Michael B. Jordan, they were dynamic in the movie. Their chemistry was incredible in the movie. And they're back. Um, Iron Man wasn't in it. The actual Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. But uh, Don Cheadle was in it. They had a few voices from the movie. Not all of them, but a few of them. I don't know why he wasn't in, in this one. It would have made it even better. But it was a good episode. The uh, Killmonger character is doing almost exactly what he did in the movie. He finds out ways to get what he wants and he's moving chess pieces. There's two types of villains. Two types of villains. There is the mastermind, the like Lex Luthor or um, someone like that. And then you have the soldier, which is someone like uh, Sabretooth. Somebody that's just gonna knuckle up when they see you. And then you've got the guy that's gonna outthink you. He's moving chess pieces. Killmonger, for all his physicality, is really a mastermind. He strategizes and figures things out to, to defeat more powerful people. He defeated the nation of Wakanda. Who does that? He do, In this cartoon, he defeats Iron Man. Who can do that? I mean, in, in his show, I mean, he's it's Iron Man show, man. Almost the entire MCU is the Iron Man show. And he wins, which, honestly, that was pretty incredible. He puts these things. I didn't like him in the comic book either. You know, Killmonger in the comic book, mm, I didn't like him that much. You know, in fact, I, I'd say I didn't like him at all. But in the cartoon, in the MCU, Michael B. Jordan has taken the character into another place. I usually like it if they take a character and they keep them pretty close to the source material. Every once in a while I like it if they venture off, like the Guardians. That, that's, that's not who I think of when I think of the Guardians of the Galaxy. But, this is like three teams. But, um, there's more than that, but primarily three basic teams. Um, but they did it so well in the movie, you're like, eh, Mulligan, you gotta, you gotta like it. Michael B. Jordan takes the Killmonger character and evolves it to a place that I, 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 I like it. I like it now. And he does that in the movie. He kills a lot of people that you wouldn't expect to, to die. But, you know, it's a what if. So he can kill everybody if he wanted to. I mean, it's, it's not going to destroy the actual MCU continuity. But he kills a lot of people that I didn't think he was going to be able to kill. He does a lot of things that I didn't think he was going to be able to do. And it's basically because he's thinking one step ahead of the next step. What do I need to do? i got to make this domino fall so this happens. And, you know, even when you think, you're like, okay... This is what he's trying to do. He's trying to do this. He's probably not. He's doing something different. And he gets basically everything he wants. Something I've noticed about the What If shows, um, Shimagora comes to Earth, so the villain wins. Um, Ego gets a hold of Quill, so now he's got the battery that he can use to wipe out the universe. So the villains win. Um, Loki is on Earth, conquers the planet, so the villains win. Every episode, the villains win. The evil Doctor Strange defeats the good Doctor Strange. I was like, that? I wasn't really expecting that. But the villains win. Killmonger wins. All of the villains are winning. Thanos wins. I'm like, wow. I wasn't expecting that. The villains are winning in every episode. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I've noticed it. And every time a villain wins, there's, there's a chance that 
a hero survived the onslaught. Maybe the Avengers survived the coming of, not all of them, survived the coming of Loki. Maybe um, the Hulk and the Winter Soldier survived the zombie apocalypse. There's different people who are being placed in, you know, uh, Agent Carter survive, Shimogora come in, the, the, the multi-armed one. Um, I, I, I think they're building up. I, I still think that they're building up to a what-if type universal uh, Avengers. I think that's how it's going to end with a bunch of Avengers from different places getting together. There's a team in the Marvel Universe, in the comic book universe, called the Squadron Supreme. And they've fought the Avengers a lot of times. They're a ripoff of the Justice League. They've got their Superman guy, they've got their Flash guy, their Green Lantern guy, their Wonder Woman guy, their Batman guy, and they're different versions. There's Marvel's versions of the Justice League. And who, who I actually like better, they're, they're more interesting to me. But eventually in the end when they they in the comic books they wipe out this one particular dimension different members from different universes are plucked together and they're put together so instead of being like their flash guy they got a different person to be their flash guy but still super fast their hyperion guy turned out to be their king hyperion guy their uh wonder woman guy their power princess turned out to be a completely different person than they thought but it, they put different different people and they reunited their team from similar people from different universes to make that team. I think that's what's happening with the Avengers. They're doing an Avengers, but they're taking them from different places in the universe and they're eventually going to put them together and make, a, you know, make an Avengers team. That's what I think is happening. But I did like this episode. I like the whole series so far. I like this episode because it wasn't just a dude walking up and punching a hero in the face and then the hero punched him back. There were plans, subtle plans, and everybody, including me, I was watching it and I was trying to figure it out. I'm in the, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't touched by anything. I'm just sitting here trying to deduce what's happening. It tricked everybody and he went through it. I mean, the writers. When they wrote that, they were like, let's see, how are we going to trick everyone? It was really good to me. And it was so good, in fact, that I would give this episode... Eight bags of popcorn. Eight bags of... You like my shirt? <laughs> eight bags of popcorn, man. Because that's what I think about that. More importantly, what do you think about that? Now that you've seen the video, if you've had a chance, let's talk about it in the comments. And as always, if you like the video, if you like the content, subscribe. And then like. Popcorn passport. Get your popcorn passport.